during the golden era of television where families would gather around the TV set for a weekly dose of laughter, drama, and camaraderie, it wasn't uncommon to see familiar faces you'd grown fond of suddenly vanish from the screen. Facts First presents, he left his TV series out of nowhere. Now we finally know the reason. Chuck Cunningham, Happy Days Let's first take a step back into the nostalgic lanes of the 70s and 80s when the TV show Happy Days became a household favorite. The show, set in the 1950s, followed the life of the Cunningham family, showcasing everyday adventures and heartwarming stories. But today we take a look at the mysterious disappearance of a character who started as a part of the central family but vanished without a trace. Meet Chuck Cunningham, Richie Cunningham's older brother who was part of the show in its initial seasons. A character who didn't quite manage to leave a lasting imprint on audiences, Chuck was portrayed by three different actors over two seasons. Rick Carrot first graced the screen as Chuck in a Prelude episode. Later, when Happy Days officially kicked off, Gavin O'Herlihy took up the mantle, appearing in several episodes of the first season, followed by Randolph Roberts in the second. In interviews, we've learned that O'Herlihy apparently grew disinterested from the role, feeling that Chuck's character lacked depth and substance, leading him to step away from the series. As time went on, it became clear that the real star of the show was Fonzie, played by Henry Winkler. Fonzie's cool demeanor and growing popularity with viewers meant he got more time in the limelight. This shift in focus nudged Chuck Cunningham into the shadows, and soon enough, he was nowhere to be found in the series, with even the family members on screen seeming to forget he ever existed. The creators played along with the mystery, joking that Chuck had probably gone off to a basketball scholarship in a faraway land, but the reality was more simple. The show had evolved, and Chuck's character no longer fit into the vibrant web of Happy Days. My Three Sons, Various Characters in the TV world, changes in the cast are often inevitable, and the iconic series My Three Sons had its fair share of twists and turns when it came to its ensemble of actors. The series made an art of subtly phasing out characters without much fanfare, a trait that repeated more than once. To kick things off, let's talk about the notable departure of William Frawley, a cherished actor known for his role as Fred Mertz in I Love Lucy. In My Three Sons, Frawley played the role of Bub O'Casey, a grandfather and housekeeper who was an integral part of the family dynamic. But due to health complications, ensuring him became a major hurdle, compelling him to exit the series. This led to the introduction of Uncle Charlie, played by William Demarest who took over the duties as the family's housekeeper and somewhat gruff yet caring mentor. The creators cleverly transitioned Bub O'Casey's role, narrating that he returned to Ireland, and as the episodes progressed, mentions of him gradually faded away, cementing Uncle Charlie as a permanent figure in the household. The series also witnessed other significant transitions, especially when it switched from ABC to CBS and color episodes began to air. This phase saw Mike, the eldest son, getting married and moving away, paving the path for the orphaned neighbor, Ernie, to be adopted into the family. As time went on, references to Mike and the details surrounding Ernie's adoption became scarce. Moreover, the later additions to the family, namely Steve's new spouse and her daughter, seemed to integrate seamlessly into the storyline. Despite these changes, the show did occasionally pay homage to its original narrative and cast. For instance, there were moments where remnants of the past were hinted at, like when Steve showcased Mike's diploma, which was displayed alongside Robbie's, or when Robbie shared his vague memories of their mother before his impending remarriage. The show managed to dance around the outright acknowledgement of character exits. For instance, during a particularly concerning period where Steve might have been unable to care for the younger boys, a discussion about potentially moving in with Mike was initiated. Initially, references to Ernie's adoption were handled with finesse, avoiding any direct mentions but leaving room for interpretation and speculation. Farrah Fawcett, Charlie's Angels the dazzling world of Charlie's Angels experienced a significant shift when Farrah Fawcett, one of the original Angels, decided to spread her wings and fly from the series. 
After gracing the screens for a singular yet impactful season, Fawcett's exit was as radiant as her presence on the show. The creators decided to craft a graceful exit storyline for her, attributing her departure to marriage and a subsequent move. But the shimmering star didn't completely say goodbye, making a brief yet memorable return in a few episodes across seasons 3 and 4. Although fans harbored hopes of a more permanent return, Fawcett's exit from the series turned out to be final, leaving an everlasting mark on the show's glittering legacy. Wayne Rogers, MASH the heartbeat of the acclaimed series M.A.S.H. experienced a fluctuation when Wayne Rogers, an essential cog in the show's ensemble, decided to part ways. The departure came abruptly in the close of the third season, with whispers suggesting that Rogers grew discontented with Alan Alda's overshadowing presence on the series. The showrunners chose a dignified exit strategy for Rogers' character, narrating that he had returned home following the war's end. Despite the understated exit, Rogers' absence left a noticeable void, as both the actor and the character never graced the series again, becoming a part of MASH's cherished history. Pernell Roberts, Bonanza Venturing back to the 60s, we encounter a similar story unfolding in the classic Western series Bonanza. Pernell Roberts, who embodied the character Adam Cartwright, found himself at a crossroads with the creative direction of the show. Craving more artistic freedom and substantial roles, Roberts made the tough decision to step away. His artistic journey past Bonanza led him to guest star in The Girl from Uncle, a less serious and somewhat fleeting spy series. But the tides turned favorable for Roberts, steering him to a role that resonated with his artistic aspirations. Embracing the character of Trapper John M.D. in the post-MASH narrative, Roberts found a platform where he could flourish for many years. Charlie Sheen, Two and a Half Men Few departures have caused as much of a stir as Charlie Sheen's notorious exit from Two and a Half Men. Sheen, who played the flamboyant and charismatic Charlie Harper, found himself in the eye of a media storm following a series of public disputes with the show's creator, Chuck Lorre. Sheen's journey on the show came to an abrupt halt amidst a swirl of controversies and outspoken critiques pertaining to the actor's personal life, substance abuse issues, erratic behavior, and off-the-wall public statements. The producers had no choice but to steer the show in a new direction, which marked the end of Sheen's character in a dramatic and final fashion, paving the way for Ashton Kutcher to step into a leading role. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these characters do you wish had stayed on their shows longer? Let us know in the comments section below.